just what is the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and why is its meeting in Uzbekistan this week so important to shaping Middle East politics? The Eurasian Economic Security and Political Partnership covers 40% of the world's population and 30% of GDP. It's a lot of power and it's decidedly non-Western. An explicit goal? To counterbalance Western power. We're witnessing the formation of a multipolarized international system in which organizations providing equal cooperation opportunities for different countries becomes more important and appealing. That's why Iran, Pakistan, Turkey, Saudi Arabia and some other regional powers all want to join the SCO. The organization's major powers include China, Russia, and India, and now Iran as well, as they sign the first step of the membership agreement Wednesday night. That means a path to massive future economic growth. The new cooperation areas will include economic security, energy security, and financial transaction security. These are all new security areas which are under constant threat from Western countries, especially the U.S., I think, apart from economic cooperation, the area of security will be a good area of cooperation which deserves greater attention from the SCO member states. Iran is also capable of doing a good job in this area. Though it's not so simple as that. The SCO's primary power is China, and China is hesitant to engage in full economic relations with Iran so long as Tehran is under international sanction. But should a nuclear deal end those sanctions, former U.S. Security Advisor John Bolton said Iran would become stronger, richer, and a more powerful ally of Russia. But the bloc is also wooing NATO members, as Turkey was invited to the meeting this year. I've heard of an expression saying that there is a long queue outside the door of the SCO, and I think this metaphor is not exaggerated. Indeed, many countries out there are showing strong interest in joining the SCO. The invitation comes as rumors spread that Turkey is aiming to join the BRICS Economic Union with the same powers. Their participation signals that Ankara is trying to play both sides. But with the global economic crisis and war in Ukraine, Turkey may soon have to choose.